Philip Kohlschreiber, you're through to the fourth round here for the third time, one of your most consistent Grand Slams. What is it about this venue that brings out your best tennis? Well, it's always tough to say. I think in sport, never think, uh, you, you never can really uh, know when you play your best tennis. But uh, I always have a very nice uh, off-season. I practice hard. And basically, I really like and enjoy to play in Australia. It's a, it's a nice court, nice crowd. So everything gives me a good feeling to play good tennis. And thinking back to this off-season, where did you spend it and what did you work on? Well, um, this year I went back to my former place in Munich. Um, I spent with my former coaches Stefan Eriksson and uh, Markus Wisselsberger and um, basically I stayed there for yeah, almost five to six weeks to practice very hard and uh, we, we went back to the strengths I had, work hard on the court, play a lot of topspin, fight for every ball and um, so far it's working out very well. What do you think distinguishes the Australian Open from the other Grand Slams? Um, well, you know, it's, I think, the longest flight we have on the tour, so that's something very special. Um, we are, everybody thinks that the crowd is phenomenal here, and uh, you have great stadiums. Uh, so overall, I would say for me, it's my favorite tournament. I li really like to play in the heat. It's also good for my, for my game, for my top spin. It bounces a lot um, higher if it's hot, so it's, it's very nice to play. What are your earliest memories of the Australian Open? Did you used to watch it during the night when you were growing up? I didn't watch so many tennis when I was a little kid, but um, basically I think the main thing is that I always started well in the beginning of the year. Even in Auckland, my first quarterfinal on, on the ATP Tour was in Auckland, so I always remember long flight, you're tired, but I brought out my best tennis in the beginning of the year and it's always something nice to remember. And during Grand Slams, you generally have a day off between matches. How do you like to spend that day? Do you get a chance to do any sightseeing or is it just keeping in a bubble on the tennis? Um, I would say it's a little bit of both. I mean, already, I think, eight or nine times now in Melbourne, so I saw already a few things. But to have a nice walk on the river, um, relaxing dinner, no hurry, you know, and a light practice, so that's basically most of the, the three days. You've got one Martin Del Potro up next. You've never beaten him. What do you think you're going to have to do in that match to have a chance of reaching the quarterfinals here? Well, basically, I'm very positive. I played already um, three good matches here. Um, the last meetings, we had tough fight, which she both won, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'm positive. I have, I think, in, in every match a little chance. And, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of luck. I hope I have the luck tomorrow to, to make the big points. Um, he's a strong opponent, but I think... Um, it's going to be hopefully a tight match. You've been as high as number 22 in the world. Is it one of your goals this year to try and break into the top 20? Yes, of course. Um, if you're so close and uh, the years after I was 24, 25, so I never reached the top 20. For sure, that's one of my goals I want to reach. But um, I know, you know, it's, the time is not running. I am improving, still improving every year. And I think I'm on the right way, on the right track back to play a very consistent year. And um, I, I think... You should not look at the numbers, you should look how the practice is going and um, so far I'm pretty happy. Have you set yourself any other goals for this year? Is deeper success in the Grand Slam something you're looking at? Of course, last year um, the Grand Slam season wasn't so successful. I only won one match and um, so I'm pretty happy to have already a good start. Um, I think it's important to, to bring up the, the ranking a little bit, to be seated at least at the Slams, to, to reach yeah, at least the third round I would say. And um, that's, let's say, the, the closest goals I have for mine. My...